This is Daddy from Busy Daddy Cooks. Today we are making a very simple Christmas Yule Lock Cake. Christmas is almost here and all the bakeries are selling Christmas Lock Cakes at a very high price. Here's a very simple and cheap way to make Christmas Lock Cakes yourself. First thing you need to do is go to those bakeries and buy two Swiss rolls. Buy any flavours you like. Vanilla and chocolate Swiss rolls are the classics. These two Swiss rolls here cost me about $7 each. The first few bakeries I went to only had Swiss rolls that were already cut into individual slices. You don't want that. You want an uncut Swiss roll. Next, chop up 300 grams of dark chocolate. You can use milk chocolate as well if you prefer. Or a combination of both milk and dark chocolates. Heat up 150 ml of evaporated milk to almost the boiling point. I am using the microwave here to heat up the milk. Traditionally, cream is used, but I couldn't find any. And evaporated milk is a good substitute. When the evaporated milk is hot enough, pour it into the chocolate. Add a pinch of salt. The salt here helps bring out the chocolate flavour. Wait for a minute or two, then stir to make it into a smooth ganache. The ganache is quite thin at the moment, but it will thicken as it cools. Put the plastic wrap over the chocolate and set it aside for a few hours at room temperature. After three to four hours, the chocolate will have a thick but still spreadable consistency. Put the Swiss roll onto a plate that you're going to use to serve the cake on. I'm just using the back of my baking sheet lined with baking paper. I can't seem to find anything else to put this on. If your Swiss roll has a layer of skin on it, remove it. Otherwise, the ganache will not be able to hold on to the cake. Cut a piece of Swiss roll from the bottom of the cake at an angle. Spread some ganache onto the end of the cut piece and stick it to the main piece. This makes it look like a branch growing out of the main trunk. Now, spread the ganache 
over the cake. You don't have to be neat about it. If the ganache is too soft to make any patterns on it, put it in the fridge for about 5 minutes to harden it a little. When you have covered the cake with the ganache, use a knife to create some bark texture on the log. Decorate the log with some Christmas ornaments. Dust some powdered sugar for the snow effect. This is Busy Daddy's simple, cheap and good way to make a Christmas Yule log cake. It looks like you had to put in a lot of effort, but this will be our little secret. If you have made it through this far into the video, thank you very much. This Christmas marks one year of creating content for my channel. It has been a very fulfilling journey and I would like to thank all my subscribers and viewers. I would like to take this opportunity to wish all my viewers a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.